on. We've moved house. Woo! I will literally just show you all of this shit. Look at all this that we've got to sort out. I'm just surrounded by shit. I will show you around the house later on today, but I'm nipping out now. Josh is at our old house, so Alma, he's like finishing off the last, last bits of like cleaning it up. Do not, no, you're not allowed in there. Mowgli, such a shit bag. Come on, go down. What was I saying? Josh is just basically down at the house, making sure everything's tidy so we get our deposits back because when we lived in London, we lost a three grand deposit. Hmm, cheap. But yeah, I'll show you the house later and I'll give you a proper tour around on my back, even though it's a mess, but you know. And then I can show you again when it's all tidy. It's great when everything you own literally is covered in cat hair. I don't know if you can see on camera, but look how covered in cat hair the car seat is and I can't find the rolly. Judy! Hey. hey. Look, it's all empty. Oh my god. Just jumped in the car with Chin and Callo. Chin's getting in in a minute. Because we need to go and take the rug doctor back. We borrowed this like rug doctor from Morrison's, which is like a really good like carpet cleaner to do all the carpets in the house. So we're gonna run that back and we're running to the tip as well. But it's sweating. I actually think I've got a sweaty upper lip. And I'm having to wear this, which you've seen me in like every week. And my leggings, because I literally don't fit in anything. So like I was running around the house, going in all the bin bags where we've got all the clothes over. And literally I don't fit into anything. So I've had to put leggings on. I I've feel basically like I've, got black jeans on. I feel like I've been in that house for days, like days and days just cleaning. You basically have. I know. Doing a bit of painting. Varnishing. Varnishing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going now and leaving Josh here. So just gonna say goodbye to Alma. Josh is moving all this when he comes out. Bye Alma. Bye. Come on Puffin, let's go to our new house and get you a bottle because you're getting grumpy. <laughs> We've been back about an hour now, haven't we Puffin? Hey. I've just given a, a bottle. Oh yeah, a bottle of milk. I think you've done about five and a half ounces, which is good. The hungry baby milk has done wonders, by the way. It didn't make her constipated, not as not of yet anyway. But she's been on it a week now, and it's been really good. Like she's been she's been doing so well. Um, she's been going like um, an extra hour between feeds, sometimes two hours between feeds, which is great. Can you see yourself? Can you see yourself? Is that you? A really good sign of the hungry baby milk as well is that ever so often, a couple of nights this week, we've had six hours of straight sleep, which has been amazing. She's just gone six hours and then I'll wake up for a feed, which is so nice because you get a bit of time in the evening on your own, um, like me and Josh do. And then <laughs> look at her face. <laughs> and then we get some sleep. <laughs> Why do you look so funny? Hello, kitten Blan. Hello, kitten Blan. Blan. Kitten. Okay. Look, look at this titties. face. Look at the titties and the face. They're so cute. Yeah, the other titties. Look at this little cute face. She's so beautiful. How do you feel after doing all the things for all both houses? Knackered. You're tired. <coughs> oh, bless you. Um, we could chill out for a bit now. We're going to go to the Aston Marina, aren't we? Yeah. Go for a drink and maybe some lunch. Can I chuck that on? Is that going to look bad? What? No, no, it'll be fine. It's hot weather. No one will know us. This week's been literally all go, hasn't it, Puffin? It's been all go this week. Obviously, Thursday was the day we moved everything. I didn't. We didn't film that day and it, it was just manic. Me, me, um, Josh and Dad all moved all the stuff. Josh and Dad taking the piss out of me saying I wasn't doing it properly the whole time. But we were moving all the stuff. <laughs> what are you staring at? <laughs> You're always staring at me, aren't you? You're always staring at me. So they were laughing at me saying I wasn't doing it right. But we ended up moving all this stuff. And then yesterday was the day when we literally, which was for the Friday, 
gutted Alma Street out, like cleaned it all. My mum's been such a big help as well. My mum came and helped us clean the entire place. And then today Josh has been there kind of just sorting out the stuff. But it's all done now and we're going to go back over there. Josh could have ha handed in the keys himself through the letterbox but I wanted to come and do it with him because it was our first proper home together. Like proper house. We weren't just in a flat. This little one is growing too much every single day. You're getting too big, aren't you, Puffin? Look at these little titties and big belly and she's so long now and she can hold her own head up but she's just growing too fast, guys. Make it slow down. <laughs> hey, don't hit that camera. What? No. You cutie. Oh, God. Wanted to say as well, Mowgli and Bloon have a new friend. This person's called Pattle. Hello, Pattle. We need to clean this window. Hello, Pattle. Now, Pattle has a brother and a son. Now, I'm not just introducing you to a random cat for no reason. Basically, Pattle, Pepsi and Baloo live next door. They're my mum's friend's cats. Our new neighbour is my mum's friend called Kate. We're looking after them for two weeks, but since we've moved in, they won't get out of our house. I'm not even joking. We can't open these patio doors without them being in the house. So, like, we're trying to keep our cats in, because Mowgli and Bloon are obviously house cats, but keep them out. And literally, they just meow. And they're just staring at me now. <laughs> they literally, we can't get them away from us. And they just keep making friends with Mowgli and Bloon through the glass. So, like, last night, Mowgli lay on the floor and boop noses and was trying to play with her, and she was flirting with him outside. We've come back so we can say goodbye together. Because we've got to say goodbye together, haven't we? Callow, you won't remember this, this house, but this was your first home. First ever home. Oh. It's all empty and clean. Do you remember doing this when we were moving out the other house? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that was more rushed thing. than this. No, but did you just wipe my kiss off? Yeah, it was too wet. There you go. No, oh. this is what we did when we moved out of Gavin oh, no. Road, and that was a year ago, and now we've got a go baby. Go and look at the banister quickly. Okay, don't go touch look it. At the banister. Like. Josh has varnished the banister, so it's all nice and new for them. Come on then. Ready? Yep. Let's go get some food. I'm starving. Bye, Alma. What about if I accidentally posted these ones? Oh, no, that's. I'd still have these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Done. Done. <laughs> Mac and cheese. Got some little chippies on the side. Pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. That makes me want pizza. Puffin was really good, wasn't she? Yeah. Stayed asleep the whole time. Oh, look at those pouty lips. She's so cute. You're so cute. You got those cute faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? We just napped. We've just woken up from a nap, haven't we? Yeah, oh, it was so nice. It was so My neck good. hurts a little bit, though. Yeah, we both slept on this sofa. I slept this end, and Josh slept that end, and we were both like this. I kind of slept, like, literally, like, all day. <sighs> Puff woke us up for a bottle. There's something about these patio doors that makes life really relaxing, like feeling the sun and having it all out there. Oh, it's just so nice. So cute. Look at that little face. Being burped, aren't you? My hair is so messy. Look at that. Ooh, it feels disgusting. It's because I've had to wash it three days in a row because I've been getting dust in it. You haven't had to. Dirt in it, I have. Oh yeah, you have, it's haven't you? It's disgusting, yeah. Right guys, so I thought I'd give you a little tour of the house. Obviously there's stuff everywhere, so all of this shit won't be here. This is the front door. So then you've got the stairs, Mowgli. The kitchen's right ahead, so I'll show you that first. So this is the kitchen. It's a very small kitchen. Good size though, everything's like in the right place. So you've got like all the nook cupboards and everything. And then just on my left you have like a pantry, 
it's quite a big pantry so we have that and then out this window here you can see the garden so the garden goes all the way down there which I'll show you in a minute we have an outhouse so this big block building is the outhouse we've got a like tumble dryer and washing machine in there let's go back this way so this is the front room and dining room which is all covered in stuff but this will be our dining room this space here so it's got wooden floors which is lovely big bay windows we're gonna have a big big nice dining room table in there and then this is our front room so it's an open plan a crying callow down there which i'll get in a moment but this is the lounge josh sorting out virgin media which opens up onto our garden so that's the outhouse that i was referring to here so that starts there ends there and we have a shed there as well and the garden goes all the way down there so it'll be cute to get like a little paddling pool and like trampoline for callow when she's a little bit older down there and then we have like a side door which leads to an alleyway as well so let's go up the stairs so as you get to the top of the stairs you've got like a little cupboard here which is for like storage which is nice and handy you turn and we've got like a little like this so this is the bathroom nice size bathroom with bath and shower cupboard to keep all your towels in as well now this will be josh's study so in here we're gonna have like our art area and our study area so we're gonna have two desks one with the mat book and stuff on and then another one with all the art stuff we're gonna have loads of pictures like this like boards like this hung on this wall here which will look lovely so that's the office come out of here this is our bedroom which is estate because obviously we've got stuff everywhere to unbox this is our bedroom so we've got our bed and obviously our cot bed um, and then we're going to move this into the window we're having two big massive wardrobes that are full the length of that wall up on there let's go into the final room which is Puff's room now this is just um, going to have all her stuff in obviously this is her her little room and it's got a built-in I won't go over there because it's got stuff in front of the door but this got like a little built-in wardrobe that goes like quite far back but we've got another wardrobe to go up in here as well so yes cute 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 hello Mowgli do you like the new house do you like the new house you've got a new girlfriend outside haven't you yeah you have oh we're done for today and we've just had dinner and it's time for bed for this little one Excited, we're going to Birmingham tomorrow. Pick up tickets and go to Yo Sushi while we're there. Morning guys, it's Sunday and we're seeing George Ezra today. I'm so excited to see George Ezra. It's literally only like a newfound love. Like me and Josh, our, one of our songs is Budapest by George Ezra anyway. So I loved that song. But like recently, I've been like loving all of George Ezra's songs and it came at the right time because Jack, my cousin Jack, managed to get us tickets to go see him at Cannock Chase. I'm so excited! We need to go to Birmingham though first to go and pick up the ticket because we had to get um, it like second hand through Twicket because they'd all sold out so we've got a second hand ticket so we're going to go pick that up. We're going to go Yo, Yo Sushi, we're coming back, we're dropping Puff off at Nanny's and then we're going to George Ezra. <laughs> you excited? Yes. Also, I've managed to fit into something other than that florally white dress. <laughs> I've got the big yellow jumper on, which is Josh's, which you've seen us in loads. I love this because it's lightweight, so although it's a hot day, it's really thin, so I can push up the arms. And I've got gym leggings on, so I didn't think of this before. They're size 12, and I've had to really squeeze into them. But yeah, I've, I've got some gym leggings on with an oversized jumper. So I fit into something else. But I'm going to go Primark today and get some more gym leggings. And I can just literally, thank you, I'll just literally live in those until I can fit in something else. I've also ordered some new dresses from Boohoo. Um, like strappy, kind of like, not skater, can't remember what the word is. I can't remember. But like the, the like flowy ones, I've ordered some of those. Because they'll be nice and cover my, my muffin top and my hips and just belly and everything. We made it to Birmingham. Made it to Birmingham. Look how empty the car park is. Look at little puffin. We're free A. Eh? Look at little puffin today. Oh god. When lifts go whoop. We don't need dollar bills to have fun tonight. Look this this actually makes me look like normal because they've sucked me in oh. so much. 
Guys, we went to the wrong one. No. We went to the wrong M&S. We went all the way to Birmingham and it was the wrong, wrong M&S. So we've got to go back out the ball ring. We've walked all the way out. We've got to go back into the car. Three quid. Fucking hell, we've been here less than 10 minutes. So now we've got to go all the way down to Harborn and go and pick up the ticket from there. Got the ticket. Whoop. Now we're having a quick pick stop, pit stop, pick stop, pit stop. Because Puff was screaming, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she needed some milk, so we just pulled over and we're just going to give her some milk. We're not going back to Birmingham City Centre. If you've ever driven around Birmingham, you'll know why. Because it's an absolute fucking nightmare to drive around. So <laughs> we passed this pub here called the White Swan. So we just thought we'd pull over here and come and have lunch here and to sit down because we both feel sick from travelling. Puff isn't enjoying the car ride anymore and um, we just need a break. <laughs> well, I didn't get to go you sushi. I was so excited. I've been looking forward to that for like months. We'll come back another day, won't we? Yeah. I think I want <coughs> the scrambled eggs on toast. Or, well, no, scrambled scrambled eggs on toasted rustic bread with your choice of mushrooms bacon or beans mm, i'm gonna nice. have mushrooms nice tip to any of you um mums out there she had loads of cradle cap all along her forehead and over her eyebrows we figured out last night to get rid of it get a wet wipe we use the water wipe ones so obviously you've got no like harsh chemicals or anything like that in it i don't think wipes do anyway but anyway we use the water wipes get it and just put your finger like not hard but underneath um, a bit of the wipe and just circular motion over the cradle cap all on her forehead come and show them how clear her forehead and skin is now it's like perfect it's dead soft and like nice look so nice and it's all gone it's a little tip for any mums out there how to get rid of some cradle cap mmm so this is mine that's chins and Puffin, we'll see how long you last in there being good. She's such a good little girl. She stayed asleep. She put, I put a dummy in, she stayed asleep. Well, she's still sucking a dummy, so she must be trying to go to sleep while I've eaten food. She's so good, isn't she? Pizza geezers. It says, tasty pizzas made by geezers. <laughs> we'll be back now for a couple of hours. We um, had a nap, had some lunch, and we're off out again now. We're gonna go drop Callow off at my nanny's. So Kelly can go to my nanny's house and then we're gonna go off to my cousin's house, chill there for a little bit and then we're all gonna go there together and to George Elsa. Exciting! I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. Whoa! You sing it? Okay. Do a verse. I don't know it. Okay, sing that bit with me. I, I don't want to sing it though. Come on, you no, could do no. it. It's all right. I don't, I don't want to. Really? Be you can sing it and I'll just cheer you on. Martin Budapest, my, my hidden treasure chest. Golden grand piano, my beautiful Castillo. You, woo, you, woo, I'd leave it all. Absolutely sweating. I just walked like, how long was that walk would you say? It wasn't too long. It was about an hour. It wasn't an, oh, hour. an hour. It felt it like an hour. That, that, that walk was it like did an feel hour. like an hour. <laughs> that was like 10 minutes. It, I'm sweaty. Yeah. Yeah. We sat down now. Is it the same guy? Got a little picnic on the go.
You're gonna help us sing Play Me On Me. What you waiting for? What you waiting for? Come on! What you waiting for? No, no, what you waiting for? Don't worry about it. Get the fuck out of here. 